Pinder works with regular files on our computer. So to make a new new page, we go to File and select New Page, select the framework and the starter page we want to use. So once we make our changes and we save it, Pangra will ask us about the location for this page. So just select something and we type the name. And the page is saved. So the next time when we want to edit this page, we just open it, select it, and here it is again. And we, we continue to edit it in this way. Um, another useful feature is we can use page and duplicate. This will create a copy of the page that we can modify again. And we can use file save as to save it under, under a different name. Let's say sub page. And <clears throat> we can also reload the page. This is useful when we make changes related to JavaScript. Um, so when we reload, save and reload the page, changes will, new code will get executed. Or if we edit the HTML in external editor. And we can also choose open in browser to see the page as it looks in the normal browser. And one thing sometimes like the, the, if there are problems and open in browser doesn't open the browser or if we want to open the page in, in a browser which is not our default browser, we can just click on this link icon and this will copy the URL of the current page to the clipboard. And then we can just go to our any browser and open it there. Um, and in the future we will add a proper project management to Pinegrow. But for now, like you always, when we work, we work on the level of individual HTML files. Okay, so much for now. See you in the next tutorial.